Cruise news, two significant sickness outbreaks on cruise ships that just occurred. These are being reported by the CDC, but no one else is really reporting on this yet. We're going to get you the details. Additionally, a Royal Caribbean ship spotted a body floating in the water. We have the report. Altogether, we have 16 cruise news pieces from across the cruise industry, including cruise news from Carnival Cruise Line, Royal Caribbean, and more. We're going to get you all the information fast coming up. Welcome to the Travel Scouts. My name is Jason and we are your cruise information channel. We get you the cruise news and information you're looking for quickly without wasting your time. So if you love cruising, consider subscribing. Okay, I've got 17 rapid fire cruise news pieces for you today. Let's go ahead and kick it off with number one, P&O Cruise Line has rescued three sailors. The P&O Ventura cruise ship was cruising across the Gulf of Mexico towards New Orleans when they received a distress call from a yacht with one male and two females on board. The yacht had lost its steering capability. P&O, they completed the rescue and all are now safe. Number two, Carnival Cruise Line has more beverage options. Carnival Cruise Line will now be offering alcohol-free versions of its most popular cocktails from their Alchemy Bar. Carnival Cruise Line will be the very first cruise line to have such a wide range of alcohol-free cocktail offerings. I'm going to put a list of the top seven most popular cocktails that will be offered by Carnival Cruise Line down in the video description. Moving on to number three, an MSC crew member has been arrested for rape. The 25-year-old Brazilian crew member from the MSC Seashore was arrested when the cruise ship docked in Brazil. The suspect has been charged with drugging and raping a female who is also a crew member on the MSC Seashore. Number four, Royal Caribbean has made another website mistake. Last week we reported that Royal Caribbean's website began offering a premium package that was not actually available. This time on March 1st, Royal Caribbean's website began offering the Atlantis Aqua Adventure Water Park Tour in Nassau, Bahamas for $64.99. Now, this excursion is normally $249. Needless to say, a lot of people began booking this bargain excursion. Those who booked the excursion were informed that it was a mistake, the excursion was canceled, their $64 was refunded, and they were given $50 of onboard credit as an apology. Number five, Jacksonville Cruise Port is now using facial biometrics to speed the debarkation process. This allows passengers to pause for a brief photo that verifies their identity in the Homeland Security database within two seconds. Now, cruisers can opt out of this and they can instead do a manual document check with a Customs and Border Patrol officer. Number six, Celebrity Cruises has announced two pre-inaugural cruises on board their upcoming new ship, the Celebrity Ascent. The Celebrity Ascent will be the fourth cruise ship in Celebrity Cruises Edge series. The first pre-inaugural sailing will be a four-night Western Caribbean cruise departing from Port Everglades on November. November 22nd of this year. The second will be a three-night Bahamas cruise departing from Port Everglades on November 26th. Number seven, Royal Caribbean has canceled a cruise only a few weeks before its sailing. The April 1st cruise on board the Mariner of the Seas cruise ship has been canceled because its current time in dry dock needs to be extended. Impacted guests, they can either do a refund or they can rebook another cruise. Either way, they're going to be receiving an additional 50% future cruise credit as an apology. Okay, we've got 10 cruise news pieces left to go, including some of the top headlines, but I want to stop for a real quick question. It's been a while since we did a cruise check-in. In. So chime in down in the comments below with the next cruise ship you are currently scheduled to be sailing on. I'll chime in with the next one we'll be sailing on as well. I'll look forward to reading those comments, but now on with the news. Number eight, Royal Caribbean has set a record for doing a transatlantic crossing with the most people on board. The Symphony of the Seas cruise ship departed from Port Miami headed for Spain and they were at near 100% capacity. So with crew members and passengers combined, they had 7,604 people on board and that's a record. Number nine, Carmel Cruise Line has said no to topless sunbathing. Now, I did not know that that was ever a thing with Carmel, but I guess in the past, they had some areas of their upper deck that was reserved for topless sunbathing. Well, now this has been addressed by brand ambassador John Hild, and he has said that that will not be returning to Carmel Cruise Line. However, I also found out that Virgin Voyages unofficially allows topless sunbathing in an area on their ships called The Perch. Costa Cruises allows topless sunbathing on their non-US cruises, and Ida Cruises, they allow topless sunbathing. Who knew? 
Number 10, the cost of an India cruise ship has arrived at the shipyard. This is a key time because this is when it will begin its transformation to join Carnival Cruise Line. When it emerges from the shipyard, it will then be the Carnival Venezia and it will ultimately be home ported in New York City. Number 11, Celebrity Cruises has announced that they are adding pickleball courts to nine of their cruise ships. This seems to be a growing trend among cruise lines. The Carnival Conquest was the first cruise ship to add a pickleball court. This was done in 2022. The Carnival Venezia, it will have a pickleball court when it comes out of its current transformation. And MSC Cruise Line recently announced that their new ship, the MSC Euribia, will also be featuring a pickleball court. Number 12, MSC Cruise Line is partnering with Formula One Racing. MSC Cruise Line is the official cruise partner of Formula One, and in November of this year, the MSC Virtuoso cruise ship will become a floating hotel for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. MSC Cruise Line continues to notch things up in their marketing effort. Number 13, Carnival Cruise Line has become the first cruise line to embark 100 million guests. Carnival Cruise Line President Christine Duffy welcomed the 100 millionth guest on board the Carnival Sunrise this past week. Number 14, P&O Cruises has named their newest ship. The name of the ship will be the Arvia. The Arvia carries 5,200 passengers, and it was named at a naming ceremony this past week in Barbados. Next is some interesting ocean island news. Number 15, Japan's island count has doubled. Japan's islands were previously counted in 1987, and they were tabulated by hand by the Japanese Coast Guard. The island count at that time was 6,852 islands. A recount has now been done, and the new count is 14,125 islands. I may do another video explaining how they came up with that different number, and I may post that video on our other YouTube channel called Cruise Talk. I'll put a link to Cruise Talk down in the video description. Number 16, Royal Caribbean's Ovation of the Seas cruise ship has been searching for a body. A passenger on board the Ovation of the Seas reported seeing a person in the water. The cruise ship began searching and helicopters were dispatched to search as well. The search went on for a number of hours, but it was unsuccessful in locating a person in the water. Number 17, there has been multiple sickness outbreaks on board Celebrity Cruises. Both of these cruises ended in the last few days and the incidents have been reported as outbreaks by the CDC. One outbreak was on board the Celebrity Constellation. They reported 80 passengers sick as well as 10 crew members. The second was on board the Celebrity Equinox with 116 passengers sick and 12 crew members. The numbers represent approximately 4% of the passengers on board each of those vessels. The primary symptom for both cruise ships was also vomiting and diarrhea. The cruise ships, they began doing increased cleaning and disinfection in accordance with the ship's outbreak prevention and response plan. Okay, subscribe and turn the notification bell on to stay up to date with the latest cruise news and information. The next video will be coming out soon, but until then, keep on cruising and we'll catch you in the next video.